derivation for Hayes bridge. Firstly, let's make the bridge. The Hayes bridge is the modification for the Maxwell's capacitance inductance bridge. A, B, C, D. This D connected cross B and D. External source E. This would be C4, R4, R2, R1, L1, R3. Potential drop between R3 would be E3, CD would be E4, AD would be E2, and AB would be E1. Individual impedances R1 plus J omega L1, Z2 would be R2. Z1 is equals to R1 plus J omega L1 where R1 is the resistance impedance and G, uh, and J omega L1 is the inductive impedance where omega is the frequency factor and J is the imaginary part. Z3 would be equals to R3. Z4 would be equal to R4 plus 1 upon J omega C4. Now balancing the equation Z1 is Z1 Z4 is equals to Z2 Z3 R1 plus J omega L1 into R4 plus 1 upon J omega C4 equals to R2 R3 therefore simplifying the equation R1 R4 plus R1 by J omega C4 plus R4 J omega L1 plus J omega L1 by J omega C4 is equals to R2 R3 We can further write it as R1 R4 J omega C4 plus R1 plus R4 minus omega square L1 C4 1 C4 plus J omega L1 is equals to R2 R3 J omega C4. We took the LCM J omega C4 multiplied it with R1 R4 R1 remains the same when we multiply R4 J omega L1 and J omega C4 J into J becomes minus 1 J becomes minus 1 omega into omega is omega square L1 C4 J omega L1 remains as it is and the whole J omega C4 goes to the right hand side which is R2 J omega C4. Now equating the real terms we get R1 omega square L1 C4 R4 R4 we have to uh, this is not the final term for r1 because there is unknown race unknown inductance l1 therefore we need to find l1 now equating the imaginary terms that is r1 r4 j omega c4 plus j omega l1 is equals to r2 r3 j omega c4 
g omega c4 is common in all the equation that means g omega c4 would get cancelled substituting the value of r1 we would get omega square l1 c4 r4 into r4 c4 plus l1 is equals to r2 r3 c4 omega square l1 c4 square r4 square plus l1 is equals to r2 r3 c4 l1 common we would get 1 plus omega square c4 square r4 square r2 r3 c4 now therefore l1 would be l2 l3 c4 by 1 plus omega square c4 square r4 square therefore substituting the value of l1 in the previous r1 that was r1 was omega square l1 c4 r4 therefore r1 would be omega square substituting the value of l1 and i am writing it directly r3 r4 divided by this would be r divided by 1 plus omega square r4 square c4 square q factor would be omega l1 by r1 which would be omega c4 r2 r3 divided by 1 plus omega square c4 square r4 square divided by omega square r2 r3 c4 square divided by 1 plus omega square r4 square c4 square 1 plus omega square c4 square would get cancelled and omega omega would get cancelled therefore we are left with we are left with r2 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 would get cancelled r3 r3 would get cancelled 1 c4 would get cancelled with c4 therefore would be left with 1 upon omega c4 r4 this would be the q factor thanks for watching the video